Welcome to SOS Media, your number one source of the latest news, opinions, and in-depth investigations that dig deeper into today's developing stories around the globe. Mob justice is not a lawful or appropriate form of justice and it is important for individuals to be aware of their rights and to seek legal remedies through the proper channels. It is also important to remember that everyone is entitled to a fair trial and that everyone is innocent until proven guilty through a fair and just trial. It is also true that R. Kelly's attorney Jennifer Bonjean questioned the government's decision to wait over two decades to prosecute him for a hodgepodge of charges, in what she described it as a mob justice climate. Jennifer Bonjean also said that the case was based on social media movements and the docuseries which aired in early 2019, just months before R. Kelly was indicted in New York and Chicago. Jennifer Bonjean told jurors that the government was trying to paint her client literally as a monster, and that while he is imperfect he's not the bad guy they're making him out to be. It should come to our minds that efforts in bringing down a rich and famous person of R. Kelly's caliber, particularly in cases involving allegations of wrongdoing often tend to involve a collective fight and various strategies. The majority of these unfortunate approaches have been used to bring R. Kelly down. Like Bonjean has always stressed, some strong establishments got actively involved in funding the various anti-R. Kelly movements, in a guise of raising awareness about the allegations and evidence against him. This was actively done through orchestrated demonstrations, social media, news outlets, documentaries and other platforms. This mob justice-like approach for sure amplified R. Kelly's allegations a thousandfold. The aspect of providing financial support and promises sandwiched in easily granted immunity status to the alleged survivors, who come forward with their experiences became a catalyst for them to change statements as they wished, very sure that no legal proceedings would be brought up against them. Though we all know that listening to alleged victims' stories and providing them assistance can help encourage others to speak out, the source and intent of this support in R. Kelly's case remains rooted in bad faith. We can clearly deduce the fact that the orchestrators of this R. Kelly conspiracy intended to have a hand over R. Kelly's money, not only for their benefit but also to be able to create financial pressure on him. This was surely illustrated in their efforts to lure the public into boycotting R. Kelly's works mainly his concerts and already established music. Though their plan did not achieve its objective that fast like they expected, it has consequently impacted on R. Kelly's financial viability and his general reputation. We definitely understand that the media has dissected and manipulated these R. Kelly allegations. Journalists and investigative reporters have published R. Kelly's stories erroneously, and sugarcoating them in a bid to make headlines and subsequently more revenue. It is important to note the fact that while these strategies can contribute to holding individuals accountable, they should always be conducted within legal and ethical boundaries, respecting the rights of all involved parties and ensuring a fair and just process. While the motivations behind mob justice may stem from a desire for immediate justice or a perceived lack of accountability in the legal system, it is important to recognize the significant drawbacks and dangers associated with it. It's heartening to note that a group of people can gang up against an individual, influence the legal system and selfishly bring that individual down. Unfortunately, this R. Kelly type of mob justice bypasses the essential principles of due process which ensure that individuals have the right to a fair trial and legal representation, and the opportunity to present evidence in their defense. This can lead to innocent people being targeted and punished without proper evidence or a chance to defend themselves. In such scenarios there is a high risk of bias, prejudice and the absence of an impartial judgment. The decisions made by a mob kind of approach are often influenced by emotions, rumors or personal beliefs rather than a careful examination of the facts and evidence. These occurrences also undermine the authority and credibility of the legal system. They erode public trust in the institutions responsible for upholding the rule of law and maintaining social order. A functioning legal system is crucial for ensuring fairness, justice and stability within a society. It is also important to note that the legal processes surrounding R. Kelly's case are still ongoing as the appeal process is taking shape, and such conversations emphasizing the rule of law are very crucial at this point in time. The documentary series Surviving R. Kelly which aired in January 2019 featured interviews with several women who made allegations against R. Kelly, and provided detailed accounts of their experiences. The documentary had a powerful impact, 
as it reached a wide audience and sparked widespread discussion and outrage but the truth eventually came out that it had been financed by Jay-Z, a publicly known adversary of R. Kelly. One cannot be wrong to question his intentions. While it is important to acknowledge the fact that R. Kelly has done great things and had many positive aspects to other people's lives, it has been made challenging to discuss specific positive contributions, or about the good deeds he has done because of efforts to overshadow them with the allegations he has faced. However, it is worth noting that R. Kelly achieved notable success in the music industry throughout his career. He released several commercially successful albums and singles earning numerous awards and accolades. He made many achieve their music dreams through mentorships and collaborations. His music influences and still entertains many fans worldwide. It is also important to recognize the fact that the impact of an artist's work extends beyond the actions of the artists themselves. Music connects with individuals on a personal and emotional level providing solace, inspiration and enjoyment. Many people have found comfort and joy in R. Kelly's music and it holds personal significance for them. R. Kelly has said that more than a dozen accusations against him are perpetuated by the media in an attempt to distort his character, and to destroy a legacy that he has worked so hard to build. Meanwhile, for all of us who have been waiting to have analyzed the contents of the federal government's reply to R. Kelly's Illinois appeal brief, we'll now have to wait for another extra 30 days to do so, because the government was granted another one-month extension. This development means that she'll have to wait till the 31st of October 2023 and the reply brief by the appellant if any by November 21, 2023. This is according to the United States Court of Appeal Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division, the Court of Appeal for the Seventh Circuit. As we continue to witness more new developments occurring during R. Kelly's appeal proceedings, we can just stay optimistic that this time this relevant truth will be put into consideration. We believe R. Kelly and his legal team will be able to outline all the injustices, misinterpretations of the law, cases of lying and witness tampering that have marred all R. Kelly's legal proceedings and that the law, truth and justice will this time along prevail. It has been a long wait and we can't wait any longer to see R. Kelly regain his deserved freedom. Thank you for watching today's video brought to you by SOS Media. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. Also remember to leave your comment about today's topic in the comment section below.